After completing the wilderness as a hardcore Iron Man, there was only one goal even more extreme. Completing the Grandmaster combat achievements while being locked to PvP worlds. And the person who manages to PK me will receive the bounty of 2.5 billion GP. In this episode, we're gonna be hunting game-changing upgrades, completing quests in some of the most dangerous locations, and without saying too much, what happens in this video will blow your mind. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna do some defense training because honestly, I'm gonna need it. And this is a very nice spot for me to train because these are decent XP, but it's also very close to a bank, which means that even if I get teleblocked, I should be fine. That's 86 and 87 defense, which should be enough for now. So let's go do something else. So I'm still gonna be doing some Zora here and there because for the things that I plan on doing, I'm gonna need a lot of Zora skills. Oh, there's two of them. Um, I don't know what they're trying. Okay, that's a Void Waker and a Claw Spec. Okay, we should be fine now. Okay, I think they were trying to do something sneaky but messed it up, which usually doesn't happen with them, but I'm not gonna complain. Oh my god, no. I'm disconnecting. Okay, <laughs> thank god. That's enough Zolra though, because honestly, that's a really scary place to disconnect. So I want to start completing some big quests, but to do so, I need a very good plan, because if hunters find out which quests I'm doing, it can be incredibly dangerous on PvP worlds. Oh, okay then. I guess we're gonna start questing. Ooh, that's a scary peak here, but at least I got the silk I needed, so let's actually start questing now. Alright, after like 18 months of playing this account, I'm gonna complete a very special quest. And that is Animal Magnetism completed, which means we can now use an accumulator. Beautiful. And Ghost Ahoy also completed. And it might seem kinda random which quests I'm completing, but trust me, it's gonna make sense. I'm about to get a level which is kinda big, because that's 81 Herb Lore, which means I can now make Ceridor Membros without needing a boost, which is really nice. Now, I decided that I want to try to complete the desert quest line because that gives me access to Tombs of a Mascot, and this means I could get some game changing items such as a Fang, a Light Bearer, and maybe even a Tumuk and Shadow. But first, I have to actually survive these quests, and that is the first quest, which I'm not even gonna try to say completed. And Contact also completed and we also get a thieving level which is really nice but now it is time for the final quest which i've never completed so i'm a bit scared man why do all these quests have to be in multi i don't like this at all okay it is time for the final boss which is actually dangerous because you can take over 90 damage in one second so i'm actually a bit nervous Alright, that's the final hit. I made no mistakes luckily, so unless there's peak ears waiting outside, I should be fine. Oh, well, yeah, that's the quest completed. And this means we can do TOA now, which is awesome, but first we got some Slayer to do. Alright, so it is finally time we do our Shaman task and last week we got ourselves the full Shazian armor and also completed the current Heart Diary, so that being said, we are fully ready, but I'm still a bit nervous because I've never done Shamans before and if I get teleblocked in this place, 
it's gonna be scary okay so i'm gonna do these in the middle room because i think this one should be the easiest one to escape from Ooh, that's an elite clue scroll and a hard clue as well. I mean, I'm just here for the Dragon Warhammer, but I will happily take all of these clue scrolls. So in the PvP worlds, I see scouts all the time, and most of these scouts are in some way related to luring, and because they can also see me all the time, I always wondered why they haven't tried to PK me. But then, this happens. um what <laughs> what is he doing oh actually i think these are people luring in pvp worlds but this is the first time that i've seen these people and after this i told c engineer about it because this guy was risking a lot but sadly the guy luring was playing it really safe but one day we will get them Alright, so I'm gonna try this hard clue because I can never complete my elites and I'm in the wilderness in multi. <laughs> Casket? Okay, is this gonna be the day we get blessed the high chips? No, no it's not. Also, if you enjoy these videos, consider subscribing because I play RuneScape, so yeah, I like it when a number goes up. Thank you. Man, I wish that we could use a looting bag anywhere on PvP worlds because look how much loot I have to leave on the floor. It, it actually hurts, but maybe one day. And that is my first shaman toss completed and we got no dragon warhammer unbelievable okay let's go see what the next task is blood files okay that's a beautiful task but first i need to do something else so i'm going to the kingdom now to collect some flex and flex is gonna be huge for me because it's gonna allow me to train fletching for rune darts magic for 99 mage and crafting for hopefully zenite jewelry okay that's a nice amount so i got like 20k flex in total now but let's Let's go see why this is gonna be such a game changer. So I'm gonna be using a spell on the Lunar Spellbook called Spin Flex, which turns flex into bowstrings and it gives magic and crafting XP, which is absolutely huge for me. And afterwards, I'm gonna use the bowstrings to make longbows, which I can then turn into money again. It is so good. And this is all I do, and if I do this tick perfect, I can get 90k magic and crafting XP every hour, which is not bad at all. And that is 76 crafting and I'm not gonna do all of this right away but I will be getting some levels here and there. Okay so the next thing I want to unlock is a dragon's medallion which means I need to complete some quests in Mauritania and these are not close to a safe zone at all so yeah. Okay that is the first quest completed. I think I got scouted once but I guess we're fine. Um, what? That is Greg, who is a really good peak here, but why? What is he doing there? And that is Darkness of Hello Veil completed and 75 agility. Oh, and these are actually some good shortcuts, so that's nice. Okay, so now we have to complete a taste of hope, and I'm not gonna lie, seeing this place really makes me want to go TOB. Alright, it's time for the boss fight, so let's hopefully not die. Okay, this was actually extremely easy, so let's go finish off the quest. And there we go. That's that's a taste of hope completed, 54 rune crafting, and we also got our dragon's medallion now. And the reason why I wanted this is because I want to go to TOB soon, but also because this allows me to get Mortmeyer fungus in a really nice way. So all I do is run to this place, which is really close to the safe zone, and now I just get a bunch of Mortmeyer fungus, and because my inventory is full now, I can teleport straight back to the bank, which is amazing. And just like that, we got a bunch of supplies to make super energies and stamina's in the future. Beautiful. Okay, back to Slayer now, because I'm still trying to get a certain task. And that's the clue scroll. Okay, that is a lot of people, so I guess we're gonna do this clue now. Casket. And we get... Nothing. And there we go, that's the task completed. Oh, gargoyles. Okay, that's... 
an interesting one. Alright, so I'm going to the Mauritania Slayer Tower now, but I'm actually not going to the Gargoyles. So what I am going to be doing is kill these Abbey Spectres because I still want to try to get Blessed Dehyde Chaps. So I'm probably going to try to get like 5 Clue Scrolls from these. And the reason why it is so nice to be on a Gargoyle task is because now I can use this roof to escape, which is amazing. Uh, that's a Clue Scroll after one kill. <laughs> I'll take it. Casket? Yeah, that's... that's something. Clue scroll? Casket? Nothing. Wait, there is someone else doing this. Actually, I think he's doing this because you can use blighted restores on PvP worlds, so that is really smart. Clue scroll? Casket? Okay, this blessing might have some uses, so that is nice. And that's hard clue number four. And I have to do a quest for this. Unbelievable. There we go, we now have access to Varlamore, which might be interesting in the future. Future. Okay, that's the step completed. Casket. Sad scam game. Oh. Wait, that is some scary gear. I kind of want to test this escape, but I should probably just teleport. Yeah, I, I should not risk it. No, I'm disconnecting and I don't have an escape crystal on me. This might actually be the end. Oh my god, okay, we survived again, but I need to get my internet fixed because this can't keep happening. And that's clue scroll number 5. Casket? Okay, this is the final casket, so surely this is the chaps. Uh, that is not the chaps I want, so yeah, I think it's time to move on. Alright, we are back at Barrows because there is something that I want to do soon and to do it I really want a tank helm. And in the past weeks I've done like 60 chests that I have not shown because nothing too special happened except a couple of close teleports. But now I'm determined to stay until we get one of the tank helms. And that is a 80 chests without an item. Yep. Oh, there was someone there, but he disappeared. Okay, I checked his high scores and it looks like a noob, which means it might be a scout, but honestly, I want to continue. Um, what am I seeing? He is sculled in full bandos. I mean, this has to be a bait, but at the same time, I want to try to kill him. <sighs> I'm on him. I'm probably getting baited right now, but... I have to try this. Okay, so the following requires some context. I have to log in another account into the same world before potentially peeking him or I will not be able to take his items. Wait, I have to log in my main. <gasps> Wait, what? I could have killed him. <laughs> nah, this makes no sense. Man, I don't know what just happened. I'm so confused, but... He was risking a lot. Okay, I got a spec weapon this time in case he does come back, but yeah, there's no way. Wait, that is him. Okay, pray melee. He died. Oh my god. We got it. That's full bandos. Okay, my main account is ready, but in case he does come back, I'm gonna barrage him. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Okay, I got all of it. Let's get out. Oh no, he is so sad. I <laughs> I feel bad already. Okay, the loot is 71 mil, but I'm gonna give some of it back. Okay, this is basically half, but I'm gonna have to analyze what just happened. 
Okay, so after watching this back multiple times and talking to some of the people who know the most about PvP worlds, I think there are two options. This was either an actual player who forgot he was in PvP worlds, which is what his explanation was, or there is the second option that this was all part of a more elaborate bait or lure. But I guess to find out, I'm gonna have to keep going. And that is 250kc, which means I have haven't seen an item in like 100 chests. Oh, that's an elite. And I can't even complete the first step. <laughs> man and that is 270 kc and still dry but i will say that i'm not killing arim anymore because i already got the pieces that i want so if that is a mistake please let me know oh my god <laughs> yes <laughs> oh it's finally over we got an item and it's literally what i want Man, I am so tired, but this is a massive relief. And the reason why I wanted this so bad is because soon we are going to God Wars and this means we're gonna need all the defense bonus we can get. And honestly, this is a massive upgrade. Now before I go get ready for God Wars, there is one more quest that I want to complete and you can probably guess which one. But the reason why I want to do this is because I want to get Zenites soon so to get them I need access to demonic gorillas. And honestly I'm nervous because a big part of this quest is in multi which I don't like at all. Alright Kruk is down, that is the platform completed and it is time for the final fight which shouldn't be a problem. Problem, but I will get teleported to multi afterwards which is always a bit scary. Okay the boss is down and we are fine. Okay let's go finish off the quest. That is monkey madness 2 completed and that is a lot of XP. That is amazing. Alright there is no more stalling now. We are gonna go to God Wars which means I need to get ecumenical keys and this is gonna be kind of scary because just like the actual God Wars, this place is completely multi, so yeah. I do have one key in the bank already, but because I've completed the Wilderness Heart Diary, I can get five keys in total if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that is the second key, but this took a long time. That is the third key. Okay, now we're getting all the keys and we got it. That's ecumenical key number five. Let's get out. So in the next episode, we are going to God Wars for the first time, which is incredibly scary. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you very soon.